Hey everyone, it's Gina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to style your hair by scrunching but without creating frizz. If you tend to suffer from wet frizz and your hair gets very tangled and frizzy when you are styling it and you can't figure out why, then hopefully these tips will help you out. I love the look that I get with my curls when I scrunch because I get really good definition and it helps shrink my curls up more. But I always tend to get a lot of frizz when I'm styling and I feel like I just have to keep layering on product. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this video, I'm gonna show you some tricks with scrunching with just your hands and also show you some tricks on scrunching with the hair repair towel. This is the white one here. This is the smaller size that they have. I've talked about this hair repair towel so much, but I will have the link as well as my discount code down below. This is basically a flat weave cotton towel that doesn't cause any frizz or friction. So you can definitely use it for scrunching. You can use it for plopping, so many different things. Y'all have probably seen me use this so many times in my videos. Um, it's definitely a favorite of mine and I have to have it for every single wash day because it's that awesome. It's very absorbent too, so it's gonna absorb that extra water when you're styling to help reduce your drying time. First, I'm sharing the items that I used on my hair before we get to the scrunching. This is the Innocent Sweet Spirit Leave-In Spray. I've been using this as a leave-in conditioner and just to help detangle after rinsing out my conditioner. And you might recognize this routine. I did show this routine in the video I did comparing using the Denman brush versus not using the Denman brush. And this was the routine I did not using the Denman brush. So now I'm using the Innersense Quiet Calm Curl Control Cream. It's just a curl cream. I usually apply this about halfway down my hair and just smooth that through using my fingers. Then I sectioned off my hair and I applied the Innersense I Create Hold. A little goes a long way with this gel and you definitely have to emulsify it in your hands. You can also wet your hands when you apply it and that will help make it easier to distribute because it is a very thick gel. But it definitely does a great job at holding, but I like applying it in sections. So now I'm going to show you some tips for scrunching to avoid wet frizz. I always get wet frizz, especially because I have high porosity hair. So what I like to do is make sure my hair is pretty wet. I have been damp styling though, so it's not too wet. It does have a good amount of water in it though. But if your hands are wet and have some product mixed in your hands, then it won't cause as much frizz when you are scrunching and you want to be very gentle with it too. If you go in with dry hands or hands that are starting to feel sticky from hair products, your hair is just going to stick to it and cause more frizz. So I definitely recommend keep wetting your hands when you're styling your hair. And if your hands are good and wet, even if they have some product in there, it shouldn't stick as much. Another thing I like to do when I'm scrunching is just press my hands up towards my head and up towards my scalp. So I'm not really curling my fingers in. If you struggle a lot with breakage and extreme frizziness, definitely try this scrunching method where you're just kind of pressing it up to your scalp. You can also lift right at the root. That's gonna help give you some root lift and some volume and then scrunch. It's another great way to get more defined curls right at the root is kind of lift them up away from your scalp and then just press straight up. I always struggle with halo frizz around the part. So I usually just add some more water and some gel to my hands and smooth over with my palms. Another way to get more defined curls at the root is to actually scrunch all the way up at the root. Instead of scrunching from the ends up to the top, try scrunching directly up at the root and see if that helps. So another cause of wet frizz can be just dry hair in general. So if you're not deep conditioning weekly or if you don't have enough moisture in your hair and you go right in with a gel or a mousse, your hair can just get dried out. I've definitely made that mistake before. One time I went straight in with a gel and I didn't have a cream underneath and my hair was so frizzy when it was wet. It was just too much protein. I did not have enough moisture in underneath. So now I'm going to be using my hair repair towel. This is just the larger black one that I have and I'm going to be using this to scrunch. One thing that you wanna make sure that you do when you're scrunching is again, to not cup your hands in too much. So I'm not really curling my fingers in. I'm doing that same technique where I'm just pressing my open palms up to my head and that's going to help prevent frizz. But the way that this towel is made, it's a flat weave cotton material. So it's completely flat. It's not like a bath towel where it has those little fibers that cause frizz. I also don't like microfiber towels, although they are better for your curls. They're not as good as this flat cotton because microfiber towels still have those tiny little fibers, which really cling onto hair, especially if you have high porosity hair like mine, the cuticle layer is more raised. So it's more susceptible to getting frizz from friction. So now I'm just gonna show you how I do this upside down as well. This definitely helps with volume. I actually prefer scrunching out excess water instead of plopping. It just seems to work better for my hair. I can be more gentle with it and it helps cut down on my drying time because I'm absorbing that excess water and any excess product. 
So if you accidentally removed too much water, too much product, and you notice some frizzy areas, this is a little trick I always do. So I add some more gel to my hands, add some water as well. So my hands are wet when I'm doing this and I'm just smoothing over those curls that look frizzy. This section of my hair always does this because it's super high porosity. They're old highlights from growing out. So they're pretty damaged. So the water just evaporates immediately out of them, especially when I scrunch them with the towel. So I just add a second layer, having that extra layer of product and water just really help lock it in. And I always get really good hold when I do this. So if you struggle with wet frizz, this is probably my number one tip to help avoid wet frizz is just going in with that second layer of gel or mousse mixed with water always makes the world of difference for me, especially when you're adding it onto hair that's been towel dried. I always get a lot more hold that way. So here's how my hair looks after I finish putting in my product. I usually like to wait about five minutes and then go in and diffuse until it's completely dry. Then I always shake out the roots to help get more volume, scrunch out some of the crunch, and overall I have really good hold. I like to leave in just a little bit of the crunch though to help fight humidity. So that is it for this quick little tutorial. If you guys enjoyed these quick style videos, definitely let me know in the comments. And if there's any other things that you struggle with when it comes to your natural curls, definitely tell me in the comments because I will be sure to cover them in the next quick tip video. And as always, I will put the link for the blog post in the description box down below. You'll find a summary of the tips that we talked about here today, as well as the product links. And it's just an overall guide for you to refer back to. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone.